Using almost any scan tool, it's possible to check the health of the vehicle or at least give you an indication of what you're dealing with. Well, that data pit is known as the long-term fuel trim. So what's a fuel trim? You'll probably notice when you look on your scan tool, there are two fuel trims, a short-term and a long-term, and there might be another two for each bank. So what does a fuel trim mean? A positive fuel trim, that means that the ECM is adding fuel so the engine stays within stoichiometry. Or if it's taking away fuel, that means that air is not getting into the engine, so it's actually having to take fuel away. That's a negative fuel trim. A long-term fuel trim is established typically over a few key cycles, a number of engine revolutions. It kind of depends on the manufacturer. But when you get a vehicle in your bay, look at the long-term fuel trim. It can give you an indication that there may be an issue with the engine, even if the check engine light is not on. So let's go through fuel trims by the numbers. A positive fuel trim means that it's adding fuel to the system. A negative fuel trim means that it's taking away fuel. On most vehicles, they're going to have plus or minus 0 to 12, or plus or minus 10. It all depends on the manufacturers. Some vehicles will have some weird hexadecimal number with the fuel trim that you may have to interpret, but use the service information. This will give you an indication on the health of the engine. If the engine is taking away fuel, well, it could be a sign that the air filter is clogged. And when the air filter is clogged, not enough air can make it into the engine, and it will be taking away fuel, which will be a negative fuel trim. In some cases, you may have an issue with a mass airflow sensor and air entering the engine not through that mass airflow sensor. With that extra air, well, the oxygen sensor is going to pick it up, so it's actually going to add fuel to the system. But the system can only compensate so far. And once it cannot compensate by either taking away too much fuel or adding too much fuel, it's going to set a code and go into a little bit of a safe mode. So if it's too high or too low, well, it's going to set a code. So when you get a vehicle in that has questionable maintenance, it may not have a check engine light on, check the long-term fuel trim. This will give you an indication to the health of the engine. This way you can look at other things on the vehicle, like let's say it has a negative fuel trim, well, start looking at the air filter. If it has other things, well, start looking at the intake, the trunking, and everything else for unmetered air making its way into the engine. This way you're going to know the health of the engine before the check engine light comes on. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.